Well, hello, welcome, and thank you for joining me for another one of our instructionals, teaching spiritual videos, because we believe that God is reaching people by this media, and we thank the Lord for it. So may the Lord bless you today. I believe the Holy Spirit has laid, I know he's laid this on my heart to do this in this manner today. Uh, we're going to title this teaching, if you can call it the teaching, we're going to really be ministering on deliverance because we're going to entitle this Casting Out Demons because I want you to know demons are real. A lot of people are troubled by them. A lot of people are bound by them and they don't know how to get free. And I thank God for the Holy Spirit. He's called me to be a part of the ministry of deliverance. Why? Because that's what Jesus did. And I want you to know you can and will be set free through this video today. I believe that the power of the Holy Ghost is going to reach you right where you are. And uh, we've got to know that deliverance is for now. Deliverance is the children's bread. So if you're a believer and you are battling or you're bound by evil spirits, demonic powers that you can't get yourself free from, uh, you don't have the answer for, I want you to know it's in the name of Jesus and the prayer of command to command evil spirits to leave. So we thank the Lord today. Let's pray. Father, we thank you right now for each one that are here with us. And God, that you will be glorified. And I serve notice on every demonic spirit, every evil, unclean, python, leviathan, Jezebel, religious, infirmity, whatever the demon is, you're on notice that you're about to be evicted. In Jesus' name, I thank you for victory tonight, God. I thank you for victory today. Whenever they're hearing this, that evil spirits will leave people's lives. They'll come out of their mouths. They'll come out of their bodies. And this, and the sickness will leave in Jesus' name. You get the praise. You get all the glory in Jesus' name. Uh, the motivation for this teaching tonight came as a result of a comment that I got on one of my videos. Uh, my video on the, on the spirit of Python. There's a brother in India. He commented on the fact that he watched the video, but he still needed a deliverance. So my prayer is, my brother, that if you watch this today or tonight or whenever you see it, that deliverance will be yours. So I'm believing God, not just for him, my brother in India, but I'm believing for anyone that hears this, you're bothered by evil spirits, you're bound by addictions, you're bound by sickness, you're bound by anything, any spirit, evil spirit of the enemy you can and will be set free only believe you got to know that number one that you're a believer because jesus said in matthew 29 deliverance is the children's bread and you got to humble yourself to be delivered amen and a lot of folks just don't want to humble themselves and deliverance is not to be feared a lot of people are scared of deliverance but i want you to know jesus uh, uh, op operated the deliverance ministry for our benefit and so that we could fulfill his will. So we thank the Lord again for you watching this and get ready to get set free. Now, if you're starting to feel nervous, it's not you, but the demons inside you that are nervous. See, demons get in our, in our soul and they can get into our body. I don't believe a Christian can be demon possessed, but you can be demonically influenced. You can be demonized. And to be demonized is to be bound and, and, and to be uncontrollable in some areas of your life. And I believe deliverance is going to come tonight. Somebody who has been dealing with a, with a spiritual spouse, a spiritual, a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife, I'm talking about a demon that attack you while you sleep sexually, that spirit will leave you tonight. I believe that the Spirit of God will rout those demons, angels will come and chase those demons away, and you will be set free. Anybody that's bound by witchcraft, a hex, a curse, root working, in the name of Jesus, I serve notice right now on the spirit of root working and witchcraft, uh, uh, occult spirits to be loosened from you. In Jesus' name, and God will be glorified. Now, I want to use the scriptures as a foundation. I'm going to go to Acts chapter 28. Acts chapter 28 is what I'm going to use for the foundation tonight. And I want to read about six verses. Then we're going to say some things. And then we're going to go into deliverance tonight. So get ready to get set free. Get ready to manifest. And you manifest, uh, when I say manifest, is the demon leaving. They leave through coughing. They leave through uh, sneezing. They leave through yawning. They leave through vomiting. They leave through, leave through spitting. They leave through shaking. They leave through uh, various different means. Some of the means that I mentioned. But most of the cases, they come out of your mouth. They'll come out of your eyes. They'll come out of your ears. They'll come out of any opening in your body. But I believe they're going to vacate your body and vacate your soul tonight. In Jesus' name. Acts chapter 28, beginning with verse 1. 
Hallelujah. Thank God for the word. Thank God for the power of the Holy Ghost. Glory, there's a fire of God. Hey, I'm an anase. I declare it in Jesus' name for you tonight. Okay, and he says, when they had escaped, and when uh, then they went, and then they knew that the island was called Melita. When they had escaped, then they knew that the island was called Melita. Verse 2 says, And barbarous people showed us no little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us, everyone, because of the present rain and because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened on his hand. And the viper fastened on his hand. Now, this is a snake. It fastened on Paul's hand. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet, though he has escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffer him not to live. And he shook off the beast into the fire, and he felt no harm. Howbeit they looked when they, when he should have swollen and fallen dead suddenly, but after they had looked for a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. In other words, these people didn't know what to think because the snake came out of the fire and it fastened itself onto the hand of the apostle Paul. And what did Paul do? Paul shook it off into the fire. I declare tonight, my brother, I declare tonight, anyone that's watching this or viewing this, if you are bound by a, a, a spirit of, of Python and its serpent-like spirit, whether it's Leviathan or every any kind of dragon spirit, any kind of snake-like spirit, tonight you shake that thing off in the fire and you will suffer no hurt. I declare deliverance. I declare breakthrough for you tonight. I declare that that spirit will leave you tonight in Jesus' name. You notice the spirit fastened itself on the Paul's hand. In other words, it was in the, in, the, in the form of a venomous snake. And I want you to know the snake is a type, a symbol of Satan, because it was a serpent that came to Eve in the garden. They had Eve in the garden. And that serpent uh, symbol is still a representation of Satan today. So the, the spirit of Python, which is a constrictor, it's a squeezer of life, it's a constrictor of, of the breathing uh, of, of, of the lungs, it, it takes the life and it kills its victim by squeezing. It'll squeeze the life out of a physical body, it'll squeeze the life out of the body of an animal, but it'll also squeeze the spiritual life out of a person. In other words, it stops the prayer life. You remember the spirit of divination? That's another name for the python, is divination. When Paul and Silas was on their way to prayer, the demon-possessed girl had a spirit of divination in Acts 16. In other words, that snake-like spirit was attacking them when they were going to prayer. Amen. And if your prayer life has been little or nothing, and you've been struggling with prayer, it's because of that python spirit that has squeezed the life out of your, out of your prayer life. But I declare tonight, you shake that snake off in the fire. I say you shake the snake off in the fire. All you have to do is believe. You see, because the Bible says in Matthew chapter 8 and verse 16, Jesus casts out the spirits with his word. He casts out the spirits with his word. And I believe tonight as I speak the word of God, that evil spirits will be driven out, uh, you'll be loosed, and the word of God, the fire on the word of God will drive out that snake tonight, and you too will shake it off into the fire. Come on, begin to thank the Lord in advance. Begin to thank him right now for what God's about to do in your life. As Paul shook the snake off in the fire, I believe many of you are going to get loose from serpent-like spirits, evil spirits that have had you bound for years. Their reign is over tonight there ain't read their their reign is over today i declare it in jesus name by the power of the authority that god has given me to cast out evil spirits to set the captives free and i declare it right now that the kingdom of god is about to come into your life why because jesus said if i cast out demons by the spirit of god then the kingdom of god is coming to you so get ready for the kingdom rule and authority to come into your life and for you to be all that god's called you to be in Jesus' name. And I, now, I thank the Lord for you. I thank God for your humility. I thank God for your time to watch this tonight or today or whenever you're watching this because God has called this as a divine appointment for you 
to get set free from that evil spirit of python, leviathan, unclean spirit, pornography, uh, addiction, uh, sexual addiction, uh, alcohol, uh, drug addiction, whatever it is, that evil spirit will loose you. That spirit of sorcery through drugs in Jesus' name, which, are, which works with the python spirit in Jesus' name. I declare in Jesus' name that you to be set free as you watch this video today or tonight or whenever you hear it. You see, because Jesus told us, he told the disciples in Mark chapter 16, in my name you shall cast out demons. In my name you shall speak with new tongues. In other words, for the ministry of deliverance is for every believer. And I stand here tonight, I sit here tonight in the, in the ministry of the believer's anointing. Amen. And that believer's anointing is one that will cast out evil spirits. Now, now for all, the, all of you, you believe you need, you know you need a deliverance, you know you got a spirit that's troubling your life, whether it's profanity, you want to stop using those words, you can't, amen, because that's a spirit that can be driven out. It's a profane, unclean spirit that causes people to cuss and use those kind of words and got those kind of languages. And you see, because demons come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So the, the process of deliverance is, number one, you got to be a believer because it's the children's bread. If you're saved, you're qualified. Amen? Amen. So, so we, 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 we make a point not to cast demons out of unsaved people because they couldn't stay free. Amen. Hallelujah. If we cast a demon out of any unsaved person tonight, we're going to lead you to Jesus right after. That's the only way you can stay free. Okay, so the process is, is you to admit that you, you need to be set free. Okay, I believe you do because you're watching this. You, you're, still, you're still with me. Okay, so you believe that you need to be set free. You believe that God will set you free. You free. Amen. Say yes. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I declare he will set you free. So the process is, number one, to take away the legal right. We got to take away the legal right for that evil spirit to be in your life, to be a part of your life. Because some way along the line, you may not know when or you may not know where, but you open the door for that spirit to come in. It could be generational. It could be family line. It could be something that you did, some act that you did, uh, drugs or whatever, some attitude, some traumatic event. But we got to take away the legal right for that spirit to be there because demons are only in our lives when, we ha when they have a legal right to be there. But today, right now, we're going to take away the legal right. The way we do that is, number one, repentance. That is, I'm going to lead you in a prayer of repentance, and you're going to uh, renounce that evil spirit. You're going to renounce that python spirit, that religious spirit, that, that Jezebel spirit, or whatever demon it is, in the name of Jesus, Leviathan, what it is, you're going to renounce it. So once you repent, then you renounce it. Then we go into deliverance. Okay, so now pray this prayer. Pray this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father. I come to you tonight in Jesus' name, or today in Jesus' name. I come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, forgive me for opening the door for this spirit and all spirits, evil spirits, to enter into my life. Forgive me, Lord, for the day of entry, for the python spirit, or whatever spirit you're troubled with. It could be Leviathan. It could be unclean. It could be Jezebel. It could be a religious spirit. It could be a spirit of infirmity. Whatever that spirit is, you said, today, Lord, forgive me for opening the door to this spirit to come into my life. And I renounce, come on, say, I renounce the operation of the spirit. I renounce the activity. I don't want it. I don't receive it. And I will not have it anymore. Come on, say, I will not have it anymore. Say, in the name of Jesus, I believe that these spirits or this spirit will leave me in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, say, thank you, Lord. Come on, thank him now, see, because thanksgiving, giving thanks to God activates supernatural power. Come on, just begin to thank him. Begin to thank him. Begin to say, Lord, I thank you for my deliverance. I thank you, Lord, that I am set free. I am set free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Now, now you're done praying. Now you get ready for that spirit to leave you. Now I'm going to command, I'm going to command. Uh, now look me right in the eye. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit right now. And for my brother there in India, I command that spirit of Python. I command that snake right now to manifest itself and leave you now. Begin to leave you now. In Jesus' name, I command you to go right now. Up and get out of him. Up and get out of them. Up and get out of her. In the name of Jesus, every unclean spirit. Every unclean spirit, every snake-like spirit, and the python, the constrictor, I command you to manifest and go. 
Now, if you start to cough, if you start to yawn, if you start to sneeze, if, 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 you, if you start to shake or tremble or whatever manifestation, you might, you might may vomit, you may, whatever it is, that, that, that's how the spirits uh, uh, do a person when they leave. It's called the manifestation. Now, you're going to manifest in the name of Jesus. Now, let's go. Go. Now, in Jesus' name, I command you to get up. I command you to get up and get out of him tonight. I command you to get up and get out of her tonight. In Jesus' name. Today, in Jesus' name. Let's go. Up and get out. Up and leave right now. I don't care if you scream, cry, yawn, vomit, uh, shake, tremble, whatever you do. Spit in the name of Jesus. I command you to go. Spirits of infirmity, sickness, cancer, tumors. I command you to dissolve and melt and dissipate now. Spirit of cancer, go right now. In Jesus' name, I declare right now. Leviathan spirit, python spirit. Go in Jesus' name. Spirits of addiction, spirits of alcoholism, drug addiction. Leave the people now. Leave now in Jesus' name. I release the fire of God. I release the angels of fire. I release the seraphims of fire right now to chase you based on Psalms, Psalms 35. In the name of Jesus, leave now. Go. Get up. Get out. Leave. Out of their mouth. Out of their nose. Out of their eyes right now. Spirit of torment. Spirit of fear right now. Depression, suicide. Yes, you've been suicidal. You've been suicidal thoughts. I declare you will not die, but you will live and declare the works of the Lord. I break your power. Evil spirit of death, go right now in Jesus' name. Loose him and let him go. In the name of Jesus, I break your power and I break your assignment. They will fulfill the will of God. They will not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. For the night is deliverance. Let's go. In the name of Jesus, all spirits out of your mouth, out of your mouth. Go now in Jesus' name. Drug addiction, crack cocaine, tobacco spirit. In Jesus' name, tobacco addiction, out of your mouth, out of your ears, out of your nose. In Jesus' name, break, go. Right now, manifest, scream, cry, come out, yawn. I don't care what you do. Leave now in Jesus' name. I break your power. I break your hope. I declare the deliverance power of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus. The fire of God, I release it through my words tonight. I cast out the demons with my words in the name of Jesus. I break your power. That's right. Get up. Get up and go. Get up and go. Leave now in Jesus' name. That's right. That's right. You're manifesting. That's right. That's right. That spirit's leaving you now. And you're getting set free right now. That python, uncoil yourself from around my brother. Uncoil yourself from around my sister. In Jesus' name, I cancel your assignment and I shake you off in the fire. She shakes you off in the fire. He shakes you off in the fire. In Jesus' name, loose and let go. Spirits of masturbation, spirit, spirits of unclean spirits, spirits of, 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 of pornography, sexual sin right now. Unclean spirit, go in Jesus' name and take your whole unholy herd with you that, that my brother be set free, my sister be set free right now from that pornography addiction right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, spirits of incubus, succubus, Spirit husband, spirit wife, I break you right now. I break your power over my over my brother tonight. I break your power over my sister tonight. In Jesus' name, you will no longer trouble her in her sleep. No longer trouble him in his sleep. You, you go now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Get up and get out. Get up and get out. Get up and go now. In Jesus' name, we break your power. Your legal rights have been taken away. All bondage spirits, go now. In Jesus' name, and I declare healing into the body of the people that have been sick. Right now, spirits of infirmity, go now. In Jesus' name, and loose the people and let them go. Loose the people and let them go. And may the fire of the Holy Ghost destroy your works. That's right. Get up and get out. Get up and get out. Get up and leave now by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. And I declare freedom, liberty, victory. In Jesus' name, I declare the power of darkness to be broken over your life. In Jesus' name, and the light of God to begin to shine. And the weight, the Osha, the spirit of heaviness right now, to leave now in Jesus' name. All depression go. All depression go. All suicidal thoughts go. In Jesus' name, we declare victory tonight. We declare victory tonight. I declare your prayer life to be loose. I declare, declare your tongues to be loose. You'll pray in the Holy Ghost. You'll pray with power. You'll pray with consistency as the Python spirit loose you tonight to be all that God's called you to be. In Jesus' name, we count it done. Go now. Go now. In Jesus' name, by the power of the name of Jesus, you go. And Father, we thank you for victory tonight. We thank you for victory tonight. Somebody, you, you just need to start thanking God right now that, that deliverance has come to your life. Deliverance has come to you tonight. Come on, just begin to thank him. Thank him that you're set free in Jesus' name. And God's going to be glorified. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Some of you may still be manifesting, but nevertheless, for those of you that know you've been set free, I, I want you to, I want you to uh, uh, 
uh, put, put, put in the chat. That you've been delivered. That you experienced the presence and the fire of God. Has delivered you from whatever spirit that you were troubled by. Man, put it in the chat. If you can put it in the chat, just let, just let me know. You know, Because that's a way of you testifying of your deliverance. And God's going to be glorified. Now, what I want to do, and, uh, before I close tonight, I want to pray to God, fill you with the Holy Spirit. You see, because now you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. You need to be filled with that Holy Spirit and fire. And that tongues, a new tongues will come to you tonight as a result of this. Because now your house is empty, your house is swept clean. You need to get filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, now pray this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for my deliverance tonight. I thank you that the demons are gone in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, fill me afresh with the Holy Ghost and fire. Come on, fill me afresh. Say it, fill, fill me afresh with the Holy Ghost and fire. Come on, say, I will speak in other tongues as the Holy Ghost give me the utterance. In Jesus' name, I believe I receive tonight or today, whenever you're watching this, in Jesus' name, fill me with the Holy Ghost and fire. In Jesus name now I'm gonna pray father as they have prayed I pray now as I stretch forth my hand God let the glory of the Lord fill with the Holy Ghost fill my sister with the Holy Ghost fill my brother with the Holy Ghost now let that prayer language begin to you begin to bubble up out of your belly and let it come out of your mouth. Lay that bond, loose their tongue in Jesus' name. You see, you hear the Holy Ghost inside you first. You let that sound come out of your mouth. That's your breakthrough in tongues. Folks, you need, you need tongues, my brother. You need to pray in tongues. You need to pray in the Spirit, my sister, because this is the most effective way to pray. This is how you pray the perfect will of God at all times. Romans 8, 26 and 27 says the Spirit of God makes intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered according to the will of God. Pray. See, that's your weapon. That's your weapon. That's what you use on the enemy. When he tries to come back, when he tries to tell you you didn't get free, you pray in tongues and you drive him away and God's going to be glorified. Use that weapon every day Live a lifestyle of repentance every day. Ask God to forgive you. Don't let sin linger. Amen. Hallelujah. And keep the enemy under your feet. Keep that deliverance. Stay in the Word of God. And until the next video, I love you. Uh, may God bless you. And uh, put, put it in the chat if you've experienced deliverance. And if you, if you didn't get your deliverance doing this, listen to this video again. Listen to it over and over and over again until you get totally set free. Because sometimes you may have to listen to this more than one time to get totally free. But a foundation has been laid. Amen. And I believe eventually total deliverance will come to you. Listen to it again if you have to. And I believe the Spirit of God is going to set you free. He's got a call on your life. The enemy don't want that to be fulfilled. But I'm here tonight to help you fulfill what God's called you to do. And one of the major part of that calling being fulfilled is getting set free from evil spirits. Whether it's Python, Leviathan, Jezebel, or whatever spirit it is, infirmity, sickness, whatever it is, God has the power to set you free. And the kingdom of God has come into your life. In Jesus' name, I love you. Until the next broadcast, until the next video, keep yourself safe, keep yourself free, and continue to follow the Holy Ghost. Stay with the word of God. Keep, tip, keep putting the fire in, because when you read the word, you put the fire in. And may God bless you. Until the next video, we love you. In Jesus' name.